Hi everyone. So today we are going to learn how to stake on injective. First, what you do is head to uh, staking.injective.network and you're going to see the connect page to connect to your wallet. It's preferred to use MetaMask, so in this guide we are going to use MetaMask to connect and uh, sign messages on our staking dashboard. So you click on the MetaMask icon here. It shows a pop-up. It's a signature request for a personal sign and you can sign this message to enter our staking dashboard. Once we're in, you're going to see this chart, some links and a staking calculator here that you can cal calculate how much INJ you're going to earn if you stake on our platform. Here you have these checkboxes which you can toggle to check how much INJ you're going to earn if you uh, do all of these tasks on our objective chain. And down here we have uh, frequently asked questions from a community from our community with answers that you can all, always reference. So now I'm going to click on stake NJ and it's going to take me to the stake page which you can also access by clicking here. It's the same page. And first off, you need to approve transfer of injective to our deposit manager. So by clicking on this toggle, I'm going to get a pop-up from MetaMask to sign this transaction. And as you can see, it, it requires some ETH to complete this transaction. So you can al always click edit and increase the gas price. So it's, the transaction is, co is confirmed faster. We are going to use the fast uh, gas price for this uh, guide. I click save and I confirm. Now we wait for the transaction to be confirmed. And you can also uh, cl click on the MetaMask icon here. And as you can see, it got confirmed. Now I can refresh the page. And you can see a new form popped up here since we allowed our deposit manager contract to spend our INJ. Now I want to stake my INJ. So in this form, I want to stake all of my INJ, which I have 10. And then I click pre-stake. I enter the amount and click pre-stake. Now I'm going to have this model open. It's a confirmation. And it, show, it tells you that the pre-staking is subject to seven days time lock schedule. This means that you will not be able to withdraw your tokens up to seven days later. This is used to simulate the unbonding period on mainnet. And one more note is that if you withdraw your pre-staked NJ to mainnet, it means that you will forfeit all of your rewards from Equinox staking. So I click pre-stake and I get another MetaMask, uh, another MetaMask uh, pop-up. I click Edit. I can choose another gas price, and I confirm the transaction. Now we have to wait for the transaction to be confirmed. We can check the status here. We go to click Activity. And this is the, the contract interaction. We click on it, and if we click on this arrow, it will go to Ether screen where we can check the status of the transaction. As you can see, for this cash price, it requires two to six minutes for this transaction to be confirmed. What you can do to not wait two to six minutes is increase the gas price. But yeah, as you can see, our transaction got confirmed. And now if I refresh the page, I should see my INJ pre-staked. And also on this page, you can see how much INJ you are going to earn uh, for the, based on the month, uh, based on the APY, and also uh, the maximum that you could earn per month 
if you do all of the tasks. So now, uh, what we should do, once the pre-stake is done, we should go to the wallet page. And here you see a uh, alert here that says that you need to be connected to Kova Network in, in your MetaMask in order to perform any actions on this page. So what we're going to do right now is, so now what I should do is click on the MetaMask and change the network to Kovan. We'll see the page refresh and we need to connect again. We go back to the wallet page and now you'll see that the alert is gone. And as you can see here, I have Kovan NJ and I need to approve or a Peggy contract to, to uh, spend my INJ set allowance to this contract. So we do the same flow as before. We click on the toggle button. And yes, you need Kovan ETH in order to interact with our uh, on Kovan. So you can always go to faucet.kovan.network and get some Kovan ETH. So again, click on the toggle button, MetaMask pop up, and you can also edit the price, but for Kovan, you can add six here, or even one, just save and confirm. Now we wait for this action to be completed. And as you can see here, it says token unlocked. So now I can uh, transfer from Kovan to the injective chain. For now, I, I can just transfer 10 INJ from Kovan to injective chain. And you don't, this is your injective uh, address. It's the same one from here, so you don't have to change it. And now I click transfer. You can change the gas price, but for Kovan, six is enough, and you can click Confirm. We wait for the transaction to be confirmed. And when this is done, you see that the Kovan balance is decreased. Now we wait for a little bit for the objective chain balance to be increased, but if you are impatient enough, you can just refresh the page. And as you can see, we have the NJ balance on our injective chain. Now we can start doing the tasks. If we go back to the home page, you can see that the first Ask is to clean, redelegate rewards, and also on bond. But the first thing you need to do is actually delegate to some validator. We go to the validators page, and now you can choose any validator to delegate your INJ to. So let's select Hashquark. We click on the delegate button. And as you can see here, we have 9.9 .9 INJ to delegate. I'll just delegate five to this validator. I click delegate. Um, MetaMask pop-up shows and I sign the message. We wait for the transaction to be confirmed and I've successfully staked. And now I have 4.9 INJ left to stake, so I'm just going to use Helios to stake the rest of my INJs. Okay, so now when I go back to my wallet page, is I can see in the delegations list my delegations. 
So as you can see, I've delegated 4.5 NJ to Hello Staking and 4.9 to HashQuark. Now let's do the tasks. If I go back to the home page, I can see that the first task is to redelegate. So I go back to the wallet page. I click, click on the redelegate button and I can choose any validator I want. So let's use Figment. We click redelegate and sign. Now you see that we have delegation to Figment. And also a good news is that our delegation rewards started showing up, which means that we already started earning rewards. Now, if we go back to the home page, we can see that the second task is to claim, redelegate rewards, and also unbond your delegation. So if I go back to the wallet page, I can unbond my delegations. Let's say I want to unbond from the Figment validator. I click unbond, I sign the message, And as you can see, it's showed in the unbonding delegations and it, ta it takes one day for your delegated amount to be returned to your injective uh, chain balance. In the task, it also said that you need to claim and redelegate rewards. So if I go back, as you can see here in the delegations reward table, I can The rewards will start showing here and once you get enough INJ to claim, you click on the claim button and confirm the message. And with that, you've completed both of the tasks. And now you're earning 60% per year.